Good evening. Essendon and James Hurd remain locked in a marathon hearing with the AFL Commission. While a deal is edging closer, the club's fate is still unclear. Tony Jones has the latest. Although today was to have been the day for a resolution, in truth it was the same as every other over the past seven months. Engulfed in confusion. Are you expecting a resolution this morning? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think anyone really knows, so we'll, we'll wait and see. Thanks. James Hurd arrived at Windy Hill refusing to subscribe to speculation that he would be without a job by the close of business. Do we stand with Yams, guys? I don't think so. It's now been almost a week since negotiations between the AFL and Essendon began and with the axe still hovering over September, the Bombers are wanting clarity. Is draft picks the only thing in negotiating over now that's been reported? No, there's more than that. Anything you'll have, uh, have it resolved as, as far as this evening? I hope so. With their appointment times drawing nearer at league headquarters, there were some hasty exits from the club. Bomber Thompson was on the run, seemingly exasperated by the time he reached AFL house. Heard left home a little later, supported by wife Tanya. How are you feeling, James? Pretty good. Commissioners had been bunkered down for several hours by the time the Essendon entourage arrived. The various legal teams also filed in, including Heard's lawyer, Julian Burnside QC. Is James Heard expected to fight charges? Um, I'm not going to comment on the case, sorry. Julian, we... Football boss Danny Corcoran was also here to have his fate known, so to embattle club doctor Bruce Reed. Live to Tony Jones at AFL headquarters. Tony, any indication as to when we'll have a resolution? No indication at all, I'm afraid to say, Pete. Uh, this commission meeting is now entering its 10th hour, and the longer it goes on, the more you think it'll stretch into tomorrow, just prolonging this agony for the AFL, the Essendon Football Club, and indeed Essendon fans. I can tell you, though, in the past few minutes, uh, we have seen James Hurd just darting from one room to another here throughout the hallways of AFL headquarters, obviously going from his commission meeting into meetings with his legal teams. Uh, the legal toing and froing, we can only imagine what that's like as he fights for his coaching survival, and that's the Point. While it seems that uh, Essendon has almost subscribed to these penalties and being rubbed out of the final series, James Hurd apparently is the sticking point at the moment. So as soon as there is any news, Pete, we'll certainly bring it to you. But in the meantime, I'll see you a little later in sport. OK, thanks, Tony.